Superintendent John Miner, can you uh, tell us where the school district stands on this? Uh, this incident here, uh, first and foremost, is uh, we're going to focus on the safety of our students, and that's what we responded to. What do you understand happened? The, uh, a citizen notified uh, our school resource officer Monday uh, at about 1230, and the school resource officer then notified his superiors uh, simultaneously, no notifying our principal, James Hugh. So uh, when we got that information, uh, our uh, principal put into uh, action a safety plan, and the Gresham police uh, responded in cooperation and secured that building to ensure the safety of the kids and the staff. Do you have any idea whether this was legitimate, a legitimate threat, or do you think this was just talk? Well, we're going to take any threat seriously, and that's why we responded in the fashion we did. Did you talk to students? Did they realize what was going on at the time? Well, at that time, uh, we were uh, proceeding with information we had at that time. Uh, since then, 48 hours later, approximately now, the police are finding more information, and they're taking action according to the information that they've found now. But at that time, we responded uh, according to our safety plan in securing that building. Right. And so did the students realize what was going on at the, the time? The students, uh, we notified the staff and the police, and based on the information we had, the students were not notified. And uh, so you weren't in a lock-in or lock-out situation? Uh, we were, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have to check that. I'm not sure at that point. I interviewed him. And, and again, it's, it's based on the information we had at that time. I interviewed a mother today and she didn't know about it until I told her and her daughter didn't know about it until I told her too and she wasn't very happy about that. Uh, when we have one of these situations, as soon as we have the information which we had uh, Monday uh, uh, shortly after we were notified, uh, we uh, put that information on our website. Uh, we also put that information on our emails and we send that out. So we notified parents that day. So there was a notification that went out? Absolutely. Okay. So anybody that didn't get it missed it then? Uh, yeah, and that, that does happen. Uh, so I can ensure that what, every, what we send out, everybody reads. But we do notify parents, and we did at that point. And I did talk to parents who did yeah. receive the email. Good. Yeah. So Have you ever had anything like this before? Well, uh, in, in what, in what uh, regards? Any threats to school safety at, uh, to this magnitude? I've been in the business a long time, and uh, you do get school threats. Uh, threats are not new, uh, so we respond and we have safety plans accordingly. Anything like this, though? Uh, we have uh, threats. Uh, we've had bomb threats in schools. Uh, we have threats, uh, safety threats, so we respond accordingly. Uh, this particular threat, uh, Facebook is a relatively new phenomena. So we're uh, starting to uh, see th those kinds of MySpace. MySpace. Uh, MySpace. So when we have uh, that's a new uh, form of communication, relatively new, and so we're responding to uh, threats that we find on there too. The citizen that made this report and stepped forward and yeah. kind of did what they were supposed to do, um, do you, was that a student or a parent or an adult? Uh, or? The information we have is that it, it was an adult uh, uh, and a citizen in our school district. Uh, and uh, what is real important here, and I appreciate you being here, because what I want to share with you and the citizens, uh, certainly in this community, uh, is that the best resource we have for school safety are our parents and our students. And when they have information uh, to do what this person did to call the school immediately so we can respond is the safest uh, and the best way for us to ensure the safety of our kids. So uh, I do commend that uh, parent, uh, citizen. Uh, certainly uh, commend our principal, James Hugh, and his response and his staff. And uh, again, our continued uh, work with the Gresham Police Department, cooperation with them has been superb. In, in, so, In the reports that are coming out, it said that they talked a lot about the school resource officer. Do you know, did these students, the, these kid, the, the two suspects did they have a certain animus towards this guy or you know the police have an ongoing investigation and so uh, I'm gonna leave that information to the police and uh, to see what the, the the specific details of that threat was can you tell us what you know about these students their history at the high school uh, they uh, they were enrolled in our high school uh, uh, January of 08 is when they left our high school and I don't know the status of those students after they left our high school
Do you know whether they'd been back to the high school, visited recently? I or? don't know that. Any trouble with either one of them? Uh, and I don't know that either. Thank you. Yeah. You're Appreciate welcome. It. And uh, thanks for, and again, the important piece is to ensure the safety of the kids. And uh, this information, I hope, will be shared with our, uh, with our community so they know that when they see a threat, uh, if there's children come home with even a rumor of a threat, that they uh, immediately notify us so we can respond. Do you have any follow-up plans with the, the general student population at Barlow, like a meeting, sit down with them, talk about what happened? Well, right now, uh, Principal Hughes working on that, and we'll see if that's necessary. And if it's necessary, we will. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great right. uh, holiday. Yeah, and you too.